What's good, y'all? What's going on? It's Corner Sports Net. Now, heard about this eclipse about 10 days ago, right? And thought it'd be black, dark, pitch black in New Jersey. So, I finished my work up at the job and around 3.30, 3.15, got my jacket on take my little break waiting to see dark skies pitch black at 3 30 p.m look at my phone the eclipse went to maine and never really made it to new jersey now some people said they saw it they had them goofy glasses on but i was looking for total darkness i was disappointed i didn't see total darkness it wasn't even that dark outside. So the eclipse for me was a, was a fail. But enough of that, enough of the eclipse talk. If y'all saw the eclipse in y'all neighborhood, y'all town, let me know, leave comments. But I'm gonna move off of that. Great weekend in sports, great weekend. As you know, as we know, South Carolina, they won the championship. Congratulations to Dawn Staley. Kayla Clark was on fire in the first quarter. After that, she kind of tailed off. She looked like she was a little tired and Raven Johnson did a good job against her. She just did. I don't know why people get mad when I say that. Was you not watching the game? Raven Johnson forced Kaylin Clark into four turnovers. Kaylin Clark, I think, shot three to three for eleven. Scored like seven points. Raven Johnson was a key factor in South Carolina winning that game. I don't know why people aren't recognizing that. I know Kaylin Clark scored thirty points. But she did most of her damage in the first quarter. Now, Diane, Diana Tarasi said that it's much, it's gonna be harder for Caitlin Clark in the WNBA. Now, Diana Tarasi, did she win five gold medals? Isn't she one of the greatest basketball players ever, male or female? People took that as hate not hate. Of course it's going to be harder for Caitlin Clark to have his 32 points a game in the WNBA. That's the cream of the crop in women's basketball. Not just in the U.S., the world. The best woman in the world playing the WNBA. It's not hate. She gave her opinion. But she's probably dead on. What players in the WNBA averaging 32 points a game? Let me know. But I think I'm gonna watch the WNBA now because I'm anxious to see what Kaylin Clark does in the WNBA. But why is everything hate when a person gives their opinion? Makes no sense. There's mostly young people. Young people say everything is hate. You give your opinion on something, it's hate. Just how it is. Everybody talk about Bronny James. Like people don't hook up their family members on jobs when they got power. I mean, Bill Belichick had his sons on the coaching staff. Dan Hurley has his son on the coaching staff. Don Shula had his son on the coaching staff. Giannis got his brothers on the Milwaukee Bucks in America, nepotism and forming connections and networking get you jobs. Get you jobs. It's always been like that. I work with people on my job. They have a family member hooked them up. But since it's LeBron James' son, 
and he's not an NBA ready player, but Brown might pull some strings, but it's the worst thing ever. Come on, man. How about all them kids going to Ivy League schools cause their daddy's wealthy, but shouldn't really get into the Ivy League school. What about that? America's all about hookups, connections, money, power, wealth, leveraging. It is what it is. Man, you got college recruiters that will find a way to give the recruit's father a job at the college just to get that recruit. At that moment, that recruit has some power. So you gotta give my father a job for at least the next three or four years while I'm at your school. Like I said, nepotism, power, hooking people up, jokers having the plug, is as American as apple pie. And it won't change either. Now, on another note, Kentucky coach John Calipari, the boosters, the fans ran him out of Kentucky. Now, he's been a successful coach during regular seasons. He's, he struggled a little bit in the tournaments, especially the last four years. But he's not a slouch coach. Probably a little overrated. So, John Calabari is like, look, I don't got to put up with this. And now he's taking the Arkansas job on a five-year deal and make a little less money than he made at Kentucky, but it'd be less stress. And they're getting a name coach. They're getting a decent coach. I mean, John Calipari, he sent what, 47 guys to the NBA? He's all four players. His players getting paid. I'm not mad at that. But as a head coach, he's been struggling the last five seasons. But he'll have less pressure he had time to build something at Arkansas. He will. Those fans are not as crazy and expect championships every year like the Kentucky fans. At Kentucky, all they want to do is hang banners. You don't hang ban banners, you had a bad season. So let's see what John Calipari does at Arkansas. I don't know if I would want to end my career coaching in Arkansas. But let's see what he does. Look, you guys leave comments. I'm on this bike at the gym. Just trying to build up a little sweat before I go home. And watch Connecticut and Purdue. I'll you guys later.